and I cleanse the brush and I already applied primer to the brush prior to begin the painting of it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buff the entire nail surface so that way I can do a coat of shiny gel over everything, okay? It's always a thousand times better to paint on top of velvet than on top of a buff nail surface because when the nail is buffed, it's porous, right? Because we're breaking the seal of the plastic or the gel, I'm sorry. So by buffing it, we're letting that shiny gel seep in. And then by curing the shiny gel, we're creating a perfect surface structure so that way we can easily glide the brush on top. So we're gonna take shiny and we're just gonna do a nice thin, even coat over the entire nail. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. And I have my white painting gel ready right here on my tiara palettes. And we're going to start with our brush, make sure it's still nice and clean and malleable. Yes. Beautiful. So we're going to start off by doing a comma in the nail and this rose petal is going to have seven. Okay, so we're going to start off with a comma in the middle, okay? So you can always put like a dot, especially when you're just starting out, where you want the center of the rose petal to be. And then we're going to begin our comma. I'm going to thicken it up a little bit. And there's the center of your rose. Okay. Now we're gonna do two more. Right here. So this rose is going this way, so this one's gonna go this way. So touch, press, and pull. Then we're gonna do two more. Right here. The nice thing about working with painting gels is that they're super forgiving if you make a mistake versus working with acrylic paints because when you work with acrylic paints, when it dries, she's there forever. And with painting gels, like especially ours, because they're so rich and creamy and pigmented, you're gonna have an incredible time working with them. It's gonna make such a friendly user experience because if there's something you don't like, you can go back and fix it without having to worry about ugly brush strokes or if you're gonna have a shadow or inconsistency in the color. Don't party too much. You want to. Don't twirl too much. And then we're gonna do another two more small ones right here. And you guys, again, I apologize if I can't get to every single comment. So like for example here, I feel like this bottle should be a little bit longer. There we go. And oops, one more small petal right here.
Look at that, beautiful. So now we're gonna do some frilly work around it. We're gonna load up our brush. What we're going to do is basically touch, press and pull in. Touch, press and pull. Touch, press and pull in. And then a few down here. Touch, press, and pull. Touch, press, and pull. And as you can see, when I pull the brush up, the line really thins out really beautifully. And then the last one right here. Beautiful, look at that. Let's wipe our brush. These vegan four pack brushes are everything and they're so affordable. You got four of them, isn't that incredible? So now I'm gonna use the dotting side of my bling tool and I'm gonna add just a few dots here and there just to kind of fill in any gap that the design might have that I feel like it needs something. Because I only wanted rhinestones on one finger today. Can you guys believe that? beautiful and now for the velvet effect we're going to take clear acrylic and we're going to very gently sprinkle it on the top surface of the nail and this will create a velvet rose and now we're going to bake this for one minute inside the barbie lamp I'm trying to share my own video name, what does that mean? Actually, it's quite uh, fast, this design. It's not very uh, complicated. It's just a matter of touch, press, and pull. And that's pretty much all of the technique in hand painting, you guys. It really is. It's touch, press, and pull. And, of course, using enocouture.com products. So remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait about 10 seconds before we remove the dust. Yes, super classic with white, super chic, very bridal. Are you speak Spanish and Japanese? Yes, that is correct. Beautiful. And then after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna add a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil and these phalanges are done. Como de novia, ¿verdad? Oh, thank you. Just like beautiful as always. Thank you. You guys are the best. And there you have it, you guys. An easy rose design. And now you know how to do these kinds of roses without having them look like commas and semicolons. And what can I say? I love you guys so much. Don't forget to take advantage of the sales that we have going on right now at enocouture.com. And don't forget to register for our upcoming class in Phoenix, October 8th and 9th. And I love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow in the next live video. Good night, everybody.